All right, so you have a campaign and you want to add a shipment to your campaign. A couple of things before we get going into this. Number one, to add a shipment, the items you want to add to the shipment have to be in your saved projects. Now, how do you get something into your saved projects? Well, you just open it. You either go to the design store and pick something, open it, and once you've closed it, it's in your saved projects. Or you go create a new something, and then, of course, that will be in your saved projects as well. If you're going to create a new project, make sure and name it so you can find it, because that can be difficult at times. Something else we need to cover really quickly. This is a big deal, so pay attention and take notes. If you already have a campaign set up, like a nice-to-meet-you campaign, and you want to add another shipment, and let's say that 100 people have all, there are already in the completed uh, recipients of that campaign. If you add a second shipment, those people will not receive the second shipment. They will not receive the second shipment. Now, anybody new you add to the campaign would receive both the first and the second shipment, but the people who the campaign has been completed for will not receive the second shipment. And that's what I want to show you right now, how to set up the second shipment and what that looks like in pretty much any campaign. So let's go ahead and get over to it and, and, and start creating this second shipment. So here I am. Where I'm going to start is going to the campaign builder. Okay, so I go to the campaign builder and I'm just going to go to my nice to meet you campaign down here at the bottom. And as you can see, I'm going to click the options, edit campaign. And this is an active campaign and I think three or 400 people have actually received this card and gift, but I'm going to add a shipment to it. How do I do that? Well, I can click the big blue button down here on the left, or I can come up here to where it says options and click options, add a shipment. Either place takes you to the same location. Now, here I am. I can add a shipment, and I'm going to name the shipment test shipment. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, when do I want to send this? Now, I got to choose the number of days between the first shipment and this shipment. So here I am, I'm gonna say, well, two weeks. Okay, great. Now, what I wanna do is add a project, add a gift or a document. For the ease of this, I'm gonna say add a project and it brings up all of my projects. Now, I'm just gonna send a postcard as a follow-up and here, let's see, yep, this is the postcard I wanna send right here, perfect. So I click add that project. And here I am. I can see what I've got. I've got this uh, four by six postcard that's going out. I want to click save shipment. And here I am. I have effectively created shipment number two for my nice to meet you campaign. Now that is all I have to do. This is a done deal. Anybody new I add to this campaign will actually receive that second shipment. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna to go to manage recipients really quick because this is where all of my folks are that uh, are in this list. And you can see all of these completed contacts will not receive that postcard I just added as the second shipment. But anybody new will show up here and enroll contacts. And once, the, uh, once complete, uh, it, they will show up down in the completed contacts. But that is it. That is how you add a shipment to a campaign. And you can do that to an event campaign, a drip campaign, an anniversary campaign, or a birthday campaign. You can add an additional shipment or as many shipments as you want. So anyway, enjoy and thank you very much.